Hello my dear friends, this is a painty cat. Today we're going to paint a really beautiful small bird and a flower surround. I recommend this tutorial for very beginning level, but if you already have an experience, uh, I hope you get some uh, ideas for your watercolors uh, or for your uh, own paintings and uh, projects. Also, I hope uh, this tutorial will be really inspirational for you and uh, will help you to find uh, really nice details for your own paintings. If you need uh, comments about what colors to choose, uh, how to paint it step by step, very slow in actual speed, welcome on my Patreon. There you can find this tutorial step by step uh, for free for everyone who really want to learn some techniques that help to you improve your own skills and uh, to help to create this adorable painting. We will start from the uh, basic level of our bird. It's a wet in wet technique. This is a really starting technique for watercolor. We will transfer orange to green, but uh, sometimes it's not really a pleasant mix of uh, color. It can give some brownish shades. And uh, I'll show to you how to create a really beautiful transferring from orange to green. All materials I'm using, all supply list, you can find just uh, checking links uh, under this video below and also of course I will add all materials I'm using today in my Patreon. I'm painting with uh, White Knight uh, watercolor. It's uh, kind of popular here and uh, also it's not expensive but really uh, good quality watercolor. It's, it's uh, also beginning level and uh, uh, for everyone who already had experience how to paint with watercolor. As a next step we will create with you uh, very simple, really very simple flowers. Shapes of petal depends from the brush you're using. I recommend to you, of course, uh, use the special watercolor brushes. Because of the shape and quality, usually it's uh, good enough to control watercolor. Here, on the left side, I'm planning a group. Uh, you could see I transferred sketch uh, from the uh, sketch to watercolor pa uh, paper. And I really recommend to you to do the same. Because you're not spending lots of time for uh, first step for drawing and uh, most of your attention and the fresh view you will use really for water coloring which is very very important also every your mistake you will do on sketch step will be visible if you created sketch on watercolor paper that's why i recommend to you transfer sketch as I demonstrated from the start of the video. You can find all my sketches on my Patreon. My sketches available for my Patreon subscribers from the level two leaves. As you can see now, we're just following same technique and creating flowers one by one. On my sketch, you could see I only plant a small twigs, but 
I didn't create any flowers on sketch step. And now I'm painting these flowers in areas between those little bits. It's just I already know from my experience shape petals really depends from the brush and I just don't need to create an exact shape of flowers with my pencil. This is wet in wet technique. It's getting a really gentle shade. All colors I will explain to you to actual speed video in my tutorial. And again, this is free for everyone who ready to learn with me how to paint with watercolor. Watercolor is really relaxing and meditative material. It's so liquid, giving so bright and nice colors. That's it. Our flowers are done. It's a first layer of flowers. And next step, we're going to create small branches and twigs. And again, no black. Just connect those little buds and flowers together. Some branches can be wider and some twigs are really tiny. You can see now shade really variative. Sometimes it's deep enough and sometimes very light. Let me complete these small twigs. Just be sure you connected all flowers well. The next step in my full time video, uh, we will create the bird. We have lots and lots of detail on this bird. By the way, personally, if you don't like to uh, paint birds, you can uh, paint only flowers here and instead of this bird, you can uh, watercolor here to three flowers. It will be really pleasant, also just a flower painting. But I had in mind a small bird in the center and here detail by detail, feather by feather, we're creating this adorable bird.
quickly a lot of details this bird has and uh, we will talk about every detail, every step in my uh, tutorial on Patreon. Next important step uh, in this painting is background. Here I will create a very interesting, in my opinion, background with same flowers and twigs, but in one color only. I made a mix of sepia and a brown shade together. It's very buttery, very transparent and I create the same flowers. In empty areas between flowers on foreground we creating look just the same. Some tweaks we can connect together. You can see now. Tweak on foreground, going on a background, and somewhere far is just much, much more light. Some bars around, connecting everything together, of course. And some tweaks here and uh, let's paint a small flower here as well very interesting looking isn't it and this is not hard to create at all this is a really basic level of water coloring third can have some question how to create it step by step, but combination of multi colored foreground and one colored uh, background, light background together, uh, in my opinion, this is a very, very nice idea and it's easy to do even if you're just starting to know to learn how to paint with watercolor. Next step we will do its uh, detailing, very tiny details with the uh, smallest brush that I have. We detailing all flowers. It's just a different amount of pigment in water. And after we will learn how to use white acrylic or if you have you can also use white gouache if you have it it's a really nice working with watercolor together it's detailing for flowers and the main idea it's a very nice detailing material for our bird Look how beautiful it's looking. First, we will use white color. It's just a clear white. Tiny feathers, smallest stripes. And after, I will share to you how to color this white layer. With very very lemon green. Look how, how bright this color is now when it's half a white under it. And our bird looking now very pretty, very bright and realistic. 
and that's it uh, don't forget to sign your work and else another tip I want to share to you it's how to remove the tape with fixing watercolor paper with the tape it's very nice and handy but it's uh, tricky to remove it without any paper I do it with my hair dryer kind of hot air now and as you can see tape removed without any issues that's it my painting done welcome on my patreon for actual speed and commented tutorial also there you can find sketch for this painting that was your painty cat i wish you all the best bye bye